So, 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 so anyway, between 2006, with the martyr of my neighbor, my dad's youngest best friend's first wife, father, mother of one, her name was Sierra Georgie, or her name was Sierra McCutcheon, they made one kid between 2006 and 2008, my uncle wound up dating. Okay, it was between 2006 and, say, 2016. And he wound up dating. And I swear he dated over a hundred different females. And they all take his watch and his wallet and file suit and press charges. Each one of them. It wasn't speed dating. It was a hundred different women within between 2006 and 2016. Ten years. Ten years he was looking for a new wife. To raise his kid with better. And they all stooped him and screwed him over legally. They all took his watch and his wallet. And they, and they all came back for money over and over. They were all gold digging tramps. Okay? And then finally one stuck around. And they actually made a baby. So there was that. And then, and then, and then. And then I really hadn't dated much between 2008 and, say, 2014. I really hadn't. I really hadn't whatsoever. I wound up being pushed on one charity case because she had a cyst pending stage 1 cancer, pre-tumor, a pre-tumor, pre-cancer, stage 0 cancer, almost stage 1, just about ready to turn into cancer, to eat her alive, burn her ovaries to death, melt her heart, and kill her immediately, so I was pushed onto that char charity case. She was a charity case. She was a charity case with what I considered a tumor the size of a softball attached to her ovary. That's not sex. That's not courtship. I didn't want to have kids with her. I still don't. That's not dating, that's not relationship, and that's what I got stuck with between 2008 and 2014. Sure, in 2007 there was the cillion with legs, and, 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 and she dumped you, and she's still with the same guy for thousands of days now, regardless of who went with baby, maybe it was fat and poop and dope and died all along, I don't know, I didn't have a birth certificate. If I get one... They better not show up in the door with it, say. Because they've been with some random strange dude for thousands of days without me. So there was that. In 2006, I was appointed a sex mate, and she thought the child would kill her through labor because she was only 16. So she had an abortion, and she's alive. That's six, that's seven, and eight. I really wasn't dating. I was in New York, and then I got sticky about what quarter or less than a halfway through. So, from NYC, NYPD, anti-terrorism. I got shot in the head. Remember? Now, in 2009, my brother got worse than I did, and I didn't party. And I didn't sleep around. And then when does I really start dating? My cousin, a nameless, sugary, comes back. He says, I'm Swedish. I'm your cousin. He said, I'm off probation. He says, that's great. And I have no idea what in the heck kind of stripper, escort, whatever. Sleep around. Then none of them attach. They're all, they're all escort strippers. They're not prostitutes. We never got prostitution or attempted prostitution or any kind of thing. I was just on probation for two years for shoplifting. They gave me larceny six. I said, I didn't do it. These people made me. They made me steal more beer because I was drunk and only like 20, was I 21 or was I 22? It was 2011. I was legally 21. I legally bought beer and they came out of nowhere and held a knife to me and forced me to buy more beer. And I'm not going to tell you who raped me in the Walmart parking lot when I was attempting to apologize and pay the beer or whatever kind of and explain my story about how I was forced to steal beer at knife point. Yeah, you might see me in a, in, in, in whatever. I'm probably allowed in the Walmart now. Like I said, it's a true story. They gave me larceny six because they didn't want to disclose 
that I was sodomized by some random guy in the parking lot. And they didn't want to disclose that I was forced to steal beer at knife point. So they gave me larceny six. They put me under city police protection for two years. And they told me to tell everyone it was probation. For larceny six, it was shoplifting while drunk. Now normally that'd just be a ticket. I wasn't driving. Instead they put me under protection. What is that called? Protective custody. I had to report into what officer every week or every two weeks or something like that. And then what? It was two years later and my, and my slate got wiped off and now I have no record. And I ran into my cousin and I finally got to sleep around. It, uh, it, was, it was fun. I got drunk. I got laid. It was a fun little time. And then I ran into an old family friend. And we dated as, as friends through a social services program to be acquaintances. And then some random Yusuf Islam, Saudi Arabian import, showed up at nowhere. And he was charged with 35 counts-ish, 30 counts-ish of attempted serial murder. We, I, I never found out for sure if those 35 were actually dead KIA. That's what it said in the paper back then, and he was the only suspect. And he was trying to kill me too. Thankfully, I was on antipsychotics, and I wasn't allergic to his heroin. Thankfully. Now, what I heard is he's dead. He committed suicide with heroin overdose on purpose, and that's that. So that was 2014, and my, uh, my, my romantic family member and I decided not to date. No longer acquaintance, no longer family friend, friend of the family from yonder years from what? Before 2005 when she transfers to St. Bernard's, and I stay in this area. They said, if you learn the Bible good or something like that, you get free money and you go out west. So her parents put her in St. Barnes when she was 15. And I said, that's it. We're not dating. And that's that. Because I, I had to do civil service. I had to do prep for the military. I had to do the Grateful Dead show. I had to do all sorts of stuff. And I wasn't interested in any kind of free money move out west. And there was that. And I don't want to get in touch with her since 2014. Because I was told she has priors. A nameless, sugary, she has priors. She's a convicted felon for prostitution, heroin, attempted suicide, and whatever, is what I hear. But also what I know is she was born with autism. She's 100% disabled mentally. She would need an aid, a wheelchair, a diaper, a handicap, everything to the teeth. And that's about it. Because she has autism. She's disabled 100% handicapped. Broken since birth. So there's that. And then how I tried in 2014, and then I was celibate, and I'm still celibate still today. That's that. Check, check. Two, 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 four, three, two, two, one.